Yo, I get we're in quarantine mode and all, but you gotta stop beating your meat, boys. And you know deep down that you've been trying to quit for weeks now, if not years, because it cannot be healthy you watching this stuff five times a day. It becomes all-consuming. And I get it. Quitting porn, it's hard. Matter of fact, it's addicting. There's been studies done by colleges that have taken MRI scans of guys that are addicted to porn and their brain results are similar to those that are addicted to drugs because porn is just as addicting and affects your brain the same way drugs do. But for those trying to quit porn, what if I gave you a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel? What if I told you that if you could just quit for a week, just for seven days, right now that you're in quarantine, I guarantee you, you quit, you're gonna see these seven amazing things happen to your life almost instantly. That sounds interesting. If you wanna see what's at the end of the tunnel, let's hop in. Number one. You're gonna have a better sex life. Imagine spending your whole teens practicing, beating your meat five times a day, preparing for this amazing day. I mean, at this point, you think you would be a pro. And then, it happens. You got it, it's happening. You have a girl in front of you. You're undressing her, it's about to happen, and nothing's going on in your pants. It ain't going up. That, my friend, it's called erectile dysfunction, and it's on the rise for young adults who are so addicted to porn in a particular style or fetish of sex that now the real stuff, it ain't cutting it out for you. It ain't doing it, and it ain't getting you hard. Once you quit porn, you're gonna have stronger erections in real life, leading to a better sex life. Number two, it brings you back to reality. You see, because porn, porn is known to distort expectation to the point that some people argue that masturbation isn't even the real problem and that it's porn and when I think about it it's kind of true because all the videos that I've done about masturbation and why you should stop the root cause of it really is pornography like distorting expectations in your brain for example think about it this way you're gonna have more sexual virtual partners in one hour then you're gonna do in real life. And whenever you get bored off an actress's performance or you didn't like her body or maybe how she came or how she orgasmed, what do you do? You're just gonna exit the tab and move on to the next model all within one hour. In real life, you can't do that. It sets your expectations too high, which can lead to that erectile dysfunction. Number three. Quitting porn is gonna boost your confidence. You see, when you watch a lot of porn, it can make you question a lot of things, like your ability in the bedroom, your physical appearance, or even your sexual relationship. There's also this like inherent shame that comes with watching porn. I'm sure you felt it as well, where unconsciously, without even knowing, you feel guilty every time you watch it and swear to yourself that you're gonna stop. Well, for men, excessively watching porn and then masturbating every single day lowers down your testosterone and it increases your prolactin. The change in these hormones results in greater levels of anxiety and lowers your confidence. Number four, quitting porn is gonna make you happy. And this is gonna happen almost instantly when you stop because porn leads to depression. And here's why, when you watch porn, it releases dopamine in your brain, the, the feel-good chemical. Well, when you do it consistently, and you do it like five, six times a day, your brain is gonna now down-regulate your dopamine receptors to maintain homeostasis, which has probably happened to you already, and you know when it happens, when you have to watch more and more of it to feel as good as you did originally. What's worse is that now, the pleasures that you used to get from everyday activities don't feel as good anymore as the dopamine surges you get from watching porn 10 times a day now. So now, life pretty much goes to crap. You get depressed and fall into this vicious cycle where you feel like crap all day, and the only time where you feel a little bit good is when you're watching porn. Number five, you gain back control. One in five people that are addicted to porn admit it to feeling controlled by their sexual desire. And this all-consuming power that porn has on your life not only kills your willpower, but also kills your productivity. Think about it, since porn is free and on the internet, there's no limit to as, as much porn as you want to watch. And guys have admitted to spend anywhere from 4 to 12 hours a week watching porn. When you quit, you're going to get all that time back. That's a whole working day that you're going to get back that you can spend on something productive. Number six, you're going to be doing something good. Like a good cause because it's a cultural issue. See, the porn industry is massive and while a lot of artists go into it willingly, a huge percentage of them have been proven to be in there against their will and are linked to human trafficking, sex trafficking, and sexual assault. Us watching this stuff condones this and incentivizes that culture where if that girl doesn't perform right on camera for you, she's gonna get beat up or whatever else they do. And if you think about it, that's disgusting. Like imagine if that was your sister or your cousin or your daughter, like that sucks. 
And finally, number seven, you're gonna appreciate your partner more. If you're in a relationship, you probably already experienced the strain that porn has on it. It's been proven that not only will you feel the satisfaction making love to your partner because you have a million other models online, but your partner will also feel insecure and as if she's not good enough. As soon as you stop watching porn, you're gonna be 10 times more satisfied in your relationship. And a lot of men claiming that when they stop watching porn, they saw women more beautiful in real life because they stopped comparing them to the perfect ones that they see that are photoshopped and full of makeup online. I promise you, quit porn for seven days and you're gonna see this drastic change in your life and I want you to come back and comment down below if you have quit porn and if you have quit porn, go ahead and comment down below your benefits and your story and your side because you never know how many men you're gonna help that are also trying to struggle with this. So that's it for me in this week's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below and share this video so we can help as many men as possible. That's it for me today. See you next time.